that would be written by Guru Arjan Dev Ji in the fourth kar. Kar Chautha refers to the beat or the rhythm to which the Shabad is to be sung in the musical measure or rag of Bilawal. That's why you have Ek Oankar Satgur Prasad preceding the Shabad. Now we shall look at the Rahau first. The main theme of the Shabad is Charan Kamal Prabke Nityao. Again, the word Nit, the same word appears in Nit name. Nit means on a daily basis. 24 7, you remember him. And then, what you ask for is Kavan So Mat. Jeta Pritam Pau. Math is what we need to change. Our thinking, our faculties of the mind, our emotions and sentiments which are colored in the wrong color which is not that of God. Here let me introduce the concept of Gurmat and Manmat. The Math on which we act on our own. Our own mat is called man mat. The wisdom that is our own, created by our own feelings, our own exposures, and our own education, is called man mat. And a Sikh endeavors to change that man mat to gur mat. Gur mat is the wisdom given to us by the Guru in the form of the Shabd. So here, what we are saying is, or what we are told rather is, Kavan so mat jet pritam pao. What is that wisdom that will bring me closer to pritam? Again, the word repeats, pritam means the loved God. So lovingly we refer to him as pritam. So then we go to the first line, Kavan Sanjog Milo Prabh Apne. Sanjog is destiny. Kavan is a very commonly referred to word in Jabji Sahib. You remember? Kavan So Vela Vakat Kavan. Kavan Thit Kavan War. Kavan says what? Question. What blessed destiny will lead me to meet my God? Remember, God is the one who gave us life. So what is that destiny that will lead us to God? Pal pal nemak sada har japne. So simple. You create your destiny. Personally, my destiny is to be born a Sikh and to use the path of Sikhi to get as close to God as I possibly can in my lifetime. And what does the Guru tell me? Pal pal nimak sada har japne. Pal is a moment in time. Nimak refers to the blink of an eye. So that could be for some the shortest possible physically, humanly measurable passage of time. Of course you'll talk of nanoseconds but those are only for atomic scientists who measure it using atomic clocks. But for us lay people, nimak means the blink of an eye. In the blink of an eye, many things happen. So Guruji says, every moment, every blink of an eye as a measure of uh, time, you remember him continuously. You continually and even continuously remember God. And then Guruji says, or beseeches, or asks God to bless me with such mercy that I will remember him at all times. Aisi kirpa karo prab mere, again kirpa, a word which refers to blessing. What kind of kirpa? Har nanaka bisarna kahu bere. Guruji says, har refers to God. O oh God, May I never ever forget you. And that is what life 
of a Sikh is all about never to forget that we are what we are by the hukum of God and the grace of Guru. Guru Pyari Saad Sangha Ji, in this short, simple Shabad, we have learned or we have visited or revisited words which we are becoming familiar with. As you go through the Bani word by word or sentence by sentence, and again, in the Gurdwara, you have your projectors. At home, you have your computers. Go to your faith book and look through your faith book to learn what your faith is telling you. Go online. You have so, so many software that help you understand what the Guru is telling us. Now, the days of excuses are long gone. You can't blame the resident teacher in the Gurdwara. You can't blame your parents. We love to do that. There is no excuse. It is at the click of a mouse that you can read, you can learn, you can understand or rather begin to understand what the Guru is telling us. Guru Pyaryo, in this Shabbat, we are looking at destiny. Many generals have fought many wars. And there's a famous general who showed his hand to a palmist. And the palmist said, it is not in your destiny to win a certain battle. He said, why? The palmist said, it doesn't show. There should be a line here. And the general took out a knife and carved a line on his palm and said, now I have a line here and I will win the war. You can create your own destiny if you choose to. Of course, a lot of hard work. Remember, Kirt Karni, Naam Japana, Vand Shakana. The three pillars that keep a Sikh going the way he is. You go anywhere in the world, you are watching this in many, many different countries. You will find the Sikhs by virtue of hard work, by virtue of hard labor, by virtue of honest living, and above all, by the grace of Guru have succeeded in carving out a simple life for themselves and also those they help to bring into the world. Guru Pyaryo, Kavan Sanjog Milo Prabhapne, Pal Pal Nimak Sada Har Japne. There is a very famous rock song many years ago. Every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. Take it to what our Guru says. So that one reminds you that anywhere you go, you cannot hide. Because God is everywhere. The one God prevails. He is omnipresent. He is infinite. You cannot localize God in one place and God lives there. But you can feel God's presence in places like the Sangat. I know I am repeating, but that is one line that is so simple, it tells you. Which Sangat Har Prabha Vasai Jiyo. If you have a Gurdwara close to your house, make it a point to go there. If you have a group of fellow Sikh students in the college or school or university where you study, organize a get together. It doesn't have to be every day, every week, once a month. Get a chance to do it on your own. It takes one person. To make a difference in many, many lives. Initiative. Remember, the word is inertia. Inertia means you are stuck, you are not moving. Socha, sochna hovei, je sochi, lakhwar. So, destiny you can create. So, when you ask this question, Kavan Sanjog Milo Prabhapne, pal pal nimaka sada har japne. Every breath you take, Every move you make, remember God, because He will be with you all the time. And then in the Rahao of the Shabbat Guru says, Charan Kamal Prabhake Net Tiao. Tiao is Tian. Tian means attention. You go to school, the teacher is teaching, you are on your handphone or on your open notebook or netbook, but you are chatting or you are surfing. 
only a miracle will help you learn what a teacher is teaching. On the other hand, if you go to school and you pay attention, chances are you will learn much more than otherwise. So this is where you ask for Charan Kamal Prabhke Nityavo Kavan So Mat. You go to school to obtain wisdom. Everybody gets educated, but not many become wise. Kavan So Mat Jeta Pritam Pao. Where do you find that Mat? This is the Mat we refer to as Gormat from the Guru. And how do I keep moving forward? How do I keep renewing this Mat? Chapji Sahib, Tithya Kadiya Sort Mat Man Bodh. If you look at Gutkas which have space for pause, you will find a pause between the four words Sort Mat Man Bodh. These are four faculties which emanate from your brain. It make you what you are. They make you what you are. And how do you keep on renewing this? How do you sharpen a sword? How do you sharpen a pencil to make it write beautifully? You have to keep sharpening it. And how do you sharpen your divine wisdom? You go to the Guru. Tithe, Kadiya, Sort, Mat, Man, Buddh. So this is how important it is to go to the Gurdwara. Why go to the Gurdwara? I can understand what he's saying. So then you choose. Take a book, take your PDA if you have one, and write down the Shabbat which was being sung. And now you just do it all the time, Romanize first words, and you decide whether you want to learn or not learn. Guru Pyareo, these are choices we make in life. And then Guruji says, Asi kirpa karo pramiri. Do you know how blessed we are? We have the same guru for the last nearly 400 years. The same guru that Guru Arjan Dev Ji placed on a pedestal in Harmandar Sahib in 1604. The same guru in 1708 when Guru Gobind Singh Ji bowed in front of, having added the Banis of the ninth Guru and gave us the Guru Granth Sahib. That is the same Guru Granth Sahib you find in any Gurdwara in the world. That is how blessed we are. No change, no addition, no adulteration. Nobody could put something inside because the scientific nature of the way the Gurbani was composed and compiled is, I believe, something no scientist can explain. Guru Pyareo, Aisi kirpa karo pra mere, Hara nanak bisarna kahu bere. Here nanak refers to the Guru, and even if this Bani is attributed to the fifth Guru, the fifth Guru in all his humility uses the word nanak. In Indian poetry, normally the last line, the poet will sign off with his name. But in this case, all the Nine, all the six gurus who have their bani in the Guru Granth Sahib sign off with Nanak. So if you, or rather when you do Ardas, we say Dasa Pat Shayandi Jyot. If you ever want to meet any of the gurus, you meet the gurus in the bani of the Guru Granth Sahib. Asi Kirpa Karo Pramere Hara Nanaka Bisar Na Kahu Bere. The Guru says, O oh God, Hara, don't ever ever forget me don't I ever ever forget you now, Guru Pyari Saad Sangha Ji imagine you ask you ask and you ask God gives gives and gives you take you take and you take you need to say thank you once in a while you need to go up there and say God thank you for the glory thank you for the sun that shines in the morning Thank you for having water being piped to my house. Thank you for electricity that comes to my house. These are little things in life which we take for granted. But Guru Pyaryo, we must learn to say thanks. Dada Data Ek hai, Sabko Devanhar. Very familiar line, all those who've been to Samelans. Then they told Navi, there's no shortage. Agarth Pare Pandar, his treasure is without any end. Jisda Ditta Khavna, Tis Kahiye Sabas, 
ਨਾਨਕ ਹੁਕਮ ਨਾ ਚਲਈ ਨਾਲ ਖਸਮ ਚਲੇ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਦੇ ਵਿਦ ਹਿਊਮਿਲਿਟੀ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਮਰਨ ਕਬੂਲ ਜੀਵਨ ਕੀ ਛੱਡ ਆਸ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਆਸਕ ਫਰਮ ਗੋਡ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਫੋਰਗੈਟ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਗੋ ਦੇ ਕੰਸੀਡਰ ਯੂਰਸੈਲਫ ਦ ਡਸਟ ਆਫ ਐਵਰੀਬੋਡੀਜ਼ ਫੀਟ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਗੋ ਲੋਅਰ ਥੈਨ ਥੈਟ ਹੋ ਸਬਨਾ ਕੀ ਰੇਨਕਾ ਤੋ ਆਓ ਹਮਾਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਥੈਨ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਮੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਪਿਆਰਿਓ ਦ ਗੁਰੂਸ ਲਿਫਟ ਵਾਟ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਚਡ and that's why today if it is your destiny to be a sick then you have to be a good sick a sick is studying all the time so till we meet again guru rakha wahguru ji ka khalsa wahguru ji ki fat